Waitrose Farm here at Letford produces quality ingredients such as eggs, mushrooms and even sparkling wine, but I'm here today to find out about the pears that they grow. Leckford Farm has over 50 acres of orchards spread out across the Hampshire countryside. They've been here for decades, as have many of the Waitrose partners working here. But Andrew Hode is a new head of Leckford, who's only been here since January. I love this place. I mean, who couldn't? It's, it's such a beautiful part of the English countryside. And, you know, to, to have this job, I think I've probably got the best job in the partnership. <laughs> and it's a real privilege to, to be really involved in, in the Waitrose Farm. You know, Waitrose has got a great um, relationship with agriculture as an industry, and to be part of that is fantastic. And, and it's a great team here. Andrew, what variety of pear do you grow here on the estate? So we grow three varieties here. We grow Conference Pear, which is about 80% of what we grow, and Concord and Commis Pear. And overall we've got about 20,000 trees in our orchards, which includes the apples as well. And these pears now, are they almost ready for harvest? Yes, they are. I mean, in fact, a number of pears have already been harvested. We've held onto these a little bit because we had quite a dry summer. There's a very short period of time in which we can harvest, and so we have to get it right. If these don't get to the right size, they become a juicing pear. Now, unlike apples, pears aren't normally eaten straight from the tree, are they? No, I mean, you can do. In fact, you'll find they actually improve in flavour as you have them in the stores for a couple of days. Have you got a personal favourite pear? Yes, I have. I, I'm a real fan of a sweet and juicy pear, and I think Commerce takes some beating. Leckford's pears are clearly well loved and looked after by the team, and with three different varieties grown here, we've got lots to choose from. Now those lovely conference pears are great for cooking with and I'm going to be using them to make the classic combination of poached pears with chocolate sauce. Now I've got a pan of water simmering gently here, I'm just going to add to it some caster sugar, in that goes, a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf and just a few whole peppercorns. And now for the pears themselves, I've peeled them and just trimmed the base and pop those in and they need to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. When they're nearly ready, I'm going to make a delicious chocolate sauce to serve with them. I've got some single cream. I'm going to pour about 100 ml into a small saucepan. I'm going to add some light brown soft sugar, in that goes, and some butter. And then heat the mixture quite gently. You want it hot enough to melt the butter and the chocolate, but don't allow it to boil. Now the cream's hot, so I'm going to add in some chopped dark chocolate and give it a stir and then I'm just going to switch to a whisk and just beat it until the chocolate's melted and the sauce is thickened nicely. I'm going to turn off the heat because the sauce is ready and the pears are tender so it's time to serve up. So just using a slotted spoon, lift out a pear and pop it onto the plate. I'm going to try and position it upright. There we go. And then let's spoon around that chocolate sauce. And doesn't that look gorgeous? I think it's the perfect way to serve these lovely pears.